video lesson on how to study chemistry. I visit different colleges and teaching institutes as a visiting faculty. A frequently asked question by many students is how to study chemistry. Before we proceed with the topic, I would like to highlight an important point. Unlike languages or history geography, a student should adopt and follow different study methodologies to learn, to understand and to reproduce concepts of chemistry in the examination. In absence of anything better, most of the students had to follow old methodology of learning by repetition. Mugging up the concepts and writing in the paper will not support while facing various engineering or medical entrance exams such as PMT, IIT, AIEEE. A weak performance in standard 11th may be magnified and reflected in standard 12th. Over 40% of the syllabus for various medical or engineering entrance exams is from standard 11th. Don't wait for exams to approach. Early start gives desired results. Now it's time for change. Make a drastic change in a mold the way you study chemistry. Let us discuss reading tips. Understand four concepts S, Q, R and N. S. Survey. Reading a textbook is mandatory. Survey the chapter. This can be done by X-ray reading of the topic just to get an idea of the chapter. While surveying, you can highlight keywords, definitions and formulae in the topic. Q. Questions. Remember your six friends. Why, what, where, when, who and how. Ask these questions to yourself before you study the topic. For example, if you are studying a topic, chemistry of carbon compounds, ask yourself what are carbon compounds, how these carbon compounds are classified, what are the methods of preparation, where these carbon compounds are used. Now read chapter line by line. Your mind will try to find answer to these questions and this will improve your concentration. R. Read the topic very carefully. This helps while answering objective questions. Do not put any part for the option. N. Notes. After reading and understanding the chapter, draft color notes in your own language and revise them frequently for memorization. Once reading and understanding of the topic is done, draw something like this. I call it as concept revision map. If I ask you the question, is it possible to put the whole world on a piece of paper? The answer is yes. We can put the whole world on a piece of paper in the form of map. Similarly, you can cover the whole chapter on one page in the form of concept revision map. This is concept revision map of the topic alkyl halides. This topic is from 12th standard organic chemistry. In this map, I have interlinked various concepts and reactions. Concept revision maps are very easy and powerful way of revision. Next is use flashcards. Make use of flashcards to study, to review concepts and formulae, definitions and reactions in chemistry. Now what is this flashcards? Flashcards are like visiting card. Take a blank card, on the front side of the card write a concept. For example, here I have taken Avogadro's number. At the back side of the card, Avogadro number is explained in brief. Avogadro's number is the number of particles such as atoms, molecules or ions in one mole of the substance. Avogadro number is equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23. Another example, on the front side, I have taken a concept, addition, reaction. At the back side of the card, 
This concept is explained in brief. When two molecules combine to form one product molecule, it is called as addition reaction. Example, ethylene reacts with HCl to form ethyl chloride. Flashcards are easy to carry. You can revise many concepts by using these flashcards. Keep a target. Prepare at least five flashcards of different concepts and revise them. You can use these flashcards to revise the concept anywhere you want. Maybe in a college, maybe at a bus stop, while traveling or even at the time of watching television also. Many students ask me question how to solve numericals. Here is a scientific way to solve numerical accurately. 1. Read the given numerical very carefully. 2. Identify key 1 from the units and convert it into the SI system. The wording of the numerical may be twisted but the physical quantities and units never change. If all given data is not into one system then convert it into the SI system. 3. Write proper formula and substitute the value. 4. Simplify. For simplification of the numerical, if required, use log table. 5. Finally, write answer along with proper unit. When I check paper, I often find many students forget to write proper unit. If you forget the unit, then probably you will lose the marks. Here are some tips for faster calculations. Memorize tables from 1 to 30. Memorize squares, cubes, square roots and reciprocals of the numbers 1 to 30. Practice calculations by using log table. If you take longer time for calculation, then probably you will find dearth of time while solving other questions in the paper. Use Vedic maths tricks for quicker results and solve ample of numericals. More numericals you solve, the better you will be at the time of examination. I suggest all students to have periodic table in your study room. As on today, about 120 elements are known. If you try to learn and summarize one element daily, within three months you can memorize the whole periodic table Learn and remember names, atomic numbers, valences, oxidation states and electronic configurations of at least first 30 elements. We require these 30 elements for solving various multiple choice questions. Here are some general study tips. Number 1. Make list of formulae of all topics and memorize them. Two. Write model answers to index questions and final exercise. Once writing model answer is over, read those model answers loudly. If possible, record. Listen to this audio book again and again for long term memorization of the answers. 3. Practice drawing neat label diagrams in short time. 4. In case of organic chemistry, practice writing chemical equations along with proper experimental conditions and with common and IUPAC names of reactants and products. If you want to have mastery on organic chemistry, I suggest all students to learn common system, IUPAC system, various functional groups, method of preparation of various compounds and their mechanisms. This avoids confusion at the time of examination. Solve ample of multiple choice questions from various entrance exam papers. I suggest to solve at least 150 multiple choice questions for each topic. 6. Do not put any part of the textbook for the option. Next is revision and tests. Revision, the most important. According to statistics, after one day of reasoning, Man forgets about 80% what he hears. The major chunk is lost 
in first few days. So, do frequent short revisions daily for long term memorization and fixation of the concepts. Last but not least, test yourself. Solve at least last 5 year question papers. Here is the summary of this video lesson. Read textbook and draft color notes. Record the notes. Record model answers. Listen them again and again for long term memorization. Prepare concept revision maps and revise them. Solve significant number of numericals and practice ample of multiple choice questions. Do frequent revisions with the help of flashcards. Test yourself for performance excellence. Be aware deadlines are closer than they appear. Time is ticking, exams are coming. If you study chemistry with the help of these points, then definitely you will produce good results in terms of marks. I wish you all the best and thank you for watching this video lesson on how to study chemistry with a smile.